there's a wealth of materials in, in this region that nobody is paying attention to. Why not put them all together in, in a special place? And this is one of the founding missions of Spruce to be a platform for all these independent voices that we have met along the way. Hi, I'm Rick Hindap. I'm the co-founder of Spruce. And I'm Bonaparte Galing, and I'm also uh, the co-founder of Spruce. We have been dreaming of something uh, for so many years. The catalyst really is we cannot find magazines anymore in Manila. The big bookstore chains decided to eliminate magazines in the mix. And since we both love magazines, we have no other source, but when we travel, the thrill of finding unique titles is what drives us to um, look at each other and say, hey, if we love this, there's probably a hundred people like us in Manila, and that was the deciding factor. Also, we love the idea of traveling without passports, and these international titles usually have interesting articles and features that transport us to a lot of um, places. We were agreeable from the get-go that the space is gonna be black. It's like a, a black hole with a riot of exploding festive colors because we wanted all the magazine covers to pop against that, that, that black space. Also, we would like to present the magazine like in a gallery. No obstruction, just pure magazine covers to present the magazine like an art piece. We do not display the magazine through their spines. Everything is facing the viewer, for example, or the visitor. So that means it's like looking at artworks. We would like it to be some sort of a celebration also of the hard work of art directors who, who, who imagine these covers with their editors. Also, we want to maximize the limited space that we have. So we make everything very modular and functional. Our walls became our storage area as well. Before we started Spruce, we are both creative directors at Design for Tomorrow. So. Um, the, the word design is deeply embedded in, in the way we live and the way we um, view the world, for example. Design is very important because it has the capacity to um, elevate things. Design can alter your mood. Design can be a useful tool to even change perceptions. Design can be a, a great catalyst in elevating even tastes.
nothing in this space uh, is foreign to us. So that means if we display it here, chances are we bought a copy uh, or previous issues in the past. We will not recommend something we do not know or understand. It also sort of a telegraph of our personal tastes in a way because it can range from design to um, culture to crafts to like what Bon said earlier, uh, um, destinations, adventure, to even more esoteric kind of titles that, uh, that we discovered that I feel like you would like to share this. This space is a living proof that print is not dead. By, by this time, you, you probably have noticed that the iPad version of magazines did not really flourish. And uh, at the same time, everybody is digital native. And there's a counter-revolution because uh, people are spending so much time in uh, the digital universe that there is um, sort of a collective yearning for something that is physical and tangible. And magazine does that beautifully. And, and, and we feel like there's still something personal about the idea of holding a tangible print copy in your hand. I forget about distractions and notifications. I open a magazine and I'm lost in another world. And that's an amazing, amazing thing that cannot be replicated when you're just, I don't know, scrolling online or thumbing through your phone. Yeah, and also we'd, uh, we really like to be um, the avenue of um, local voices as well because there are a lot of um, local printmakers and we want to be that place where they can showcase their voices and their design and their works. In terms of the evolution of the magazine, I love that direction as well where the articles are not uh, time-bound, not newsier where it can get um, dated easily. And now, a lot of, even in, in the media industry, magazines are now considered as a luxury instead of uh, something like disposable because it takes time to really put an issue together in such a very definitive way. And the amount of time and effort that is put into that is what makes it truly special. It's not uh, something like um, um, an online story, for example, that you bookmark and forget about it. So um, that makes magazine still not only relevant, but it has managed to sort of reposition itself as a more luxurious, tangible manifestation of, or even a reflection of who you are and your tastes. This video is brought to you by Lamana, the exclusive manufacturer of Ishinomaka Laboratory in the Philippines. Design of furniture that is made locally, made by hand, and made to last.
www.lamanaph.com.